Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to do a quick how to on how I put together quick pots for my pinguiculas. All right, so I got two empty pots. I'm going to show you how my how to pot the substrate uh, that I'm using and all the materials. So, first off, what I'm doing is I'm actually using some smaller I think these are uh, three inch uh, pots. Obviously these are left over from some of the other plants that uh, me and my wife get. Uh, they're probably some succulent uh, nursery pots that are here and they're always good to reuse. Before we get into that, uh, the main ingredient to uh, putting together the, your how-tos are always a nice glass of wine here. So tonight I'm actually uh, drinking some Lambrusco. As you can tell, I have uh, a little glass of mine. You can see my name in the back, and it's got a little Mandalorian helmet on there too. So my wife has etched this, and I drink out of this thing all the time, and I love it. All right, so that's always um, a good first ingredient, and cheers to you. Okay. Ooh, that was yummy. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is I'm gonna put these together, do a quick how-to, and uh, let's get rolling. So first off, what I like to do is, here's sphagnum moss. I got a nice brick of it, and typically what I'll do is I will fill up the bottom half of each of my pots with sphagnum moss, and then the top half with the substrate mix that I put together. Yes, this is uh, something that I've pre-done. And what it is, it's one part of peat moss, one part uh, perlite, one part pumice, and one part sand. So there's four main ingredients in here. Uh, as you can tell, it's already, I've put water in here to kind of moisten it up already. So I like to do that because when I put it into the pot, kind of has like a little weight to it so it's easier to kind of compact uh, down all right so let's jump on in i'm going to put the substrate off to my right and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to pack it in here for each of these little pots i try to make it about half of it doesn't have to be a whole lot the reason why I put this in here is to hold some of the moisture in the standing water. And plus it allows for some drainage because typically, I think for carnivorous plants, right, you'll kind of leave it in a, a bowl. It's usually like with some freestanding water um, in there. And of course, uh, pick out any kind of like pieces that don't really go, um, or at least doesn't look right and kind of pick them out. There's no rhyme or reason. You don't have to do any kind of specific measurements. I just like to kind of pack it on in. Just eyeball it. That's good for this one. And there you go. There are my uh, two pots, halfway filled up with some sphagnum moss. I guess I continually kind of pack it down. All right, so from there, the next step, I'm gonna put this down, is then I'm gonna just put the substrate just right on in. Uh, typically what I like to do is so sometimes when I get the peat moss, there's the, these large uh, chunks of like stick or bark. I like to pick them out. I don't like the big chunks in there. That's just a personal preference. It's completely up to you. So all I really do is take kind of like pinches of this, lay it on top, and kind of just start kind of packing it all in. And the question sometimes is, well, how high do you pack it, right? So typically, um, 
what I'll do is I will leave a little edge um, on here so I can see the, the top of the pot. The reason why I do that, it just allows the water to kind of like stay in if you're gonna kind of water it on top. However, I typically just always water it uh, in the bowl itself. I never water it from the top. So it's all personal preference. sec it looks like my uh, lights just turned off let me turn it back on cut this piece out give it some light okay all right I'm back here now okay well here I am I'm back patting it down and typically what I'll do is I guess I like to kind of put them in the center of the pot. So I'll kind of pre-put like a little hole right here, right? A little indentation. So it kind of gives me an idea of where I'm going to put the ping. All right. I am done with pot one. That is it. As you can tell, right at the bottom of this pot, uh, all the moisture all the water that was in the substrate kind of like, uh, you know, just drips down, which is fine. Typically what I'll do is I'll leave it for now. And then what I'll do is I will take another canister of water, kind of fill it up and just kind of let it sit. Because when I put the sphagnum moss in there, the sphagnum moss was all dry, right? So it's got to take, it's got to have a little time to kind of soak up, just make sure it's all um, kind of filled up with like good moisture um, in it so it's gonna take some time and then after that's done I probably give it about five ten minutes and then I will drain this water and then refill it up with some uh, nice clean water so let me just set that to a side, to the side and then I'm gonna just start on the next pot I'm just kind of do the same thing I kind of just pack it in there just kind of give it some pressure down so it's nice and compact. I guess I kind of like clump my fingers together to kind of like pack it down. You don't want to like, you know, super pack. You just kind of give it some gentle pressure. And then again, Make a little indentation where you want your ping to go. All right, so you see how quick that was? That's pot number two, right? There's uh, the water that's draining down below. I'm gonna fill it up. There you have it, right? There's two quick pots that I have all put together and that basically took uh, like a few minutes. That was it. And obviously there is a very last step to this. It is one celebratory uh, swig and then you're all done. All right, and with that, uh, thanks for watching my video and until next time also, please uh, like subscribe Comment share definitely as you can see I'm trying to grow my channel here and any of your support would be uh, greatly appreciated and until next time take care